Hello, and welcome to this case study for Siemens Technomatics plant simulation software. This is being presented by the team at Long-Term Technology Services, your partner in digital industry. In this video, we're going to walk through a case study for a company operating in the realm of warehousing and distribution. We'll use this case to illustrate what kinds of situations and challenges have led real-world companies to use plant simulation to make more informed decisions, saving time and money in the process. So with that said, let's take a look at our example company. Let's call this company Quasar Distribution. This is a composite fictional company based on the real world distribution partners we've seen operating in the booming market of micro fulfillment centers. This would include companies that do local or regional parcel fulfillment for a company like Amazon. Due to soaring demand, Quasar needs to scale its operations quickly but it also needs to increase its operational efficiency within its existing facility. So the company considers bringing in an Automated Storage and Retrieval System, or ASRS. As the name suggests, these are automated units that allow you to store or retrieve parcels automatically. After a preliminary review, the company decides to perform further study on bringing in a type of ASRS called a Vertical Lift Module. As you can see from the video, this is kind of like a giant vending machine. Now this is a really big investment, and the company doesn't know how the traffic generated by this system will impact its throughput and overall storage strategy. On top of that, Quasar needs to be sure that once it gets the system up and running, the ASRS is going to function at peak efficiency. Finally, they need a realistic projection of whether the system can handle their requirements during times of peak demand. To put it simply, Quasar needs upfront assurances that the ASRS will fulfill their needs and that they can ensure the system will operate at the lowest possible cost, highest possible speed, and with the most efficient use of power and resources. This is where Technomatics Plant Simulation comes in to help them. Using Plant Simulation, we can build a digital twin of their proposed ASRS. We can also use a number of techniques to both optimize the system's performance and predict its business impact. So, let's have a look at the solution and how it helps optimize the facility and predict the impact of a new investment. So for this case, we'll assume that the company is purchasing or considering purchasing an automated storage and retrieval system. They have specific dimensions for the space it can occupy, and they want to know what sorts of benefits they can expect when the system is operating at optimal capacity. You can also look at the system's throughput in a 2D scenario to review the model and its associated data from a different angle. Now, let's turn back to our 3D model, or 4D model, if you consider that the timing dimension has been added. First, we'll want to run a regular simulation of the system to make sure everything is working and flowing as it should. We see here you also have three pick-and-place robots set up with conveyors to carry away the orders fulfilled by the ASRS. Next, we'd like to look at how we might automate the system further to use its storage and retrieval machines in the best possible way. Let's say, for example, that there's a surge in orders and the current number of online storage and retrieval machines can't handle that surge. We can see from the screen here that the wait time for each order is starting to climb very quickly. Now, we can click on this feature, which automates the system to optimize the use of storage and retrieval machines. Now, as demand surges, dormant machines are brought online automatically, and you see that average wait time dropping back down toward where you would like to see it. Next, we might want to take a look at our resource utilization to see how much use we're getting out of each of our storage and retrieval machines. This can also help us run what-if scenarios to see how losing a machine to unplanned maintenance or breakdown would impact our average rate wait times. Next, let's say that this ASRS is located within a larger digital twin of our facility. Now we want to look at the overall traffic and logistics associated with it. That way we can optimize for the entire facility to truly gain a sense of how this new investment will impact our overall throughput. From there, we could further optimize our use of space, resources, and even labor. Once the packages are sent to the loading dock, 
the same plant simulation software can generate the ideal routes for shipping the completed orders. While there are many solutions that help companies with this distribution portion, there are advantages to doing this with the exact same software you're using to optimize production processes within your facility. Now this is a specific example, but you can also use plant simulation to optimize your production buffers or your overall equipment efficiency, or OEE. You can also use it to set something like a temporary storage strategy and to weigh the costs of temporary inventory against how frequently you would like to ship product. That way you can determine the ideal amount of temporary storage you need. So that's it for our case today. If you have any questions or would like to chat further, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at marketing at longtermtech.com or to learn more about our entire suite of products and services, visit our website at www.longtermtech.com. We are very proud to be a Siemens partner and a Technomatics plant simulation smart partner, and we are very proud to bring the benefits of these great digital solutions to you. Thanks.